All right, Miss Brittany. She's already poking on things and grabbing stuff. All right, you ready to learn some things today? Sure. We're going to change a knock sensor on her still new to her Challenger. That means we get a pull of the intake. Yay. All right, step number one for this job. Uh, there's a related code to this, by the way. I'll, I'll flash it on the screen. I don't remember what it is. But uh, we're going to disconnect the battery, negative terminal battery, and then we're going to pull this breather box, this tube assembly, and then we'll pick back up there and we'll start disconnecting some tubes and whatnot. And uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun job. Are you ready? Come on. All right, battery's disconnected. Breather box is off, tube off to the throttle body. So next, we're going to unplug the connectors to the throttle body. We're going to remove the boost line to the brake booster. We're going to remove basically any hose and line that's going to this upper intake. So that way you can ride. And then we're going to remove this bracket here. So that way that's free as well. So you see that's a 10 mil bolt up top. And it looks like two 10 mils down on the bottom side. Um, actually, no, those are 13s. So two 13s down, down low, a 10 mil nut here. Somebody forgot to put that one back <laughs> before us. So shame on them. But uh, yeah, connector is real easy. So pull it back, squeeze, pull. So we'll get this, uh, all this removed and then we'll pick back up. But obviously you got one, two, three lines on this backside and then we gotta get to the EGR valve after that. So we'll come back after that's done. All right, Brittany got all the hoses off. We got the bracket off at the throttle body. And now we get to pull the entire cow off. So that is like some Phillips screwdrivers and some push pins and things. So we'll come up here, we'll take these out and then it's just push pins, we'll pull them all up and we'll get that removed. And then once we get under there, we'll come back. You gotta take out the windshield wiper module and that will allow us to get access to uh, the strut tower brace that comes off and then the EGR valve on the back side of the engine. So I'll show those once we get them dug up I also forgot to mention that uh, you got to take the windshield wipers off To get this cowl off. So we'll unbolt those wiggle them off and then lift this whole cowl off Oh Right, so wipers are off cows off. So now miss Brittany is gonna pull this strut Support connector do data. I don't know, but something down here is already disconnected. What is it? Oh, wait, no, it's not. There's wires. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Hey, this is Dodge, man. Don't be jerking on wires. <laughs> they are known for that. So, you see those connectors right there? Yeah, we're going to have to get those off with the forks. Okay. I'm going to video this whole process because we're kind of figuring it out as we go. So, that. Got it. Yep, okay. Rides on a Christmas tree, so that comes off. Take this one off. Oop. Like that. So that harness is free. So that first bolt that has the secondary bracket on it, take that out. Make sure that bracket can slide. Um. Oh, loosen, loosen. That's tightened. That's tightened, Brittany. Well, you... Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Come on, girl. We've done enough work to this point. We have done enough work to this point. You should know that. Well, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we can fish that out of there. All right, cool. So you can unbolt that's the other one. Hopefully the car doesn't go. Hmm. Well, right. you know. Um. Yeah. I guess just take them both out. Nice work. Now, let me see if I can fish this end out. Oh yeah, that's easy peasy lemon squeezy, I think. Oh. That's on a rubber grommet, it should be. And then there's like push pins holding the wiring harness. So it came right off the grommet, so that's perfect. So now we just have that one push pin to release. What we shall do right now. Bam, that should be free. Cool, strut tower's out. There's support. Well, actually, strut tower, what do they call it? Like strut tower link support or something? All right, cool beans. So now, we're going after this EGR valve in the back. That's gotta come off. Um, and it is small spaces in here, and Brittany's gonna excel at this. So we gotta figure out what holds that on. Um, 
Unfortunately, here, let me get over here, Brittany. So I can show from the backside here like this. Unfortunately, I can't really see it. So I will figure it out and then I will say it on camera whenever Brittany's finished it. All right, now that Brittany got the EGR valve off, actually I did it, she didn't do it. <laughs> Ain't nice whiskey though. Oh. E EGR valve is off. Uh, I took the two 10 mils that face this direction on the backside off. We were able to shine a flashlight from over there and I was could peek down through that hole to see them to get it on there. Uh, that's the worst part of this entire job. That's like a, like a two or three beer for sure. Uh, so we unplugged these connectors so we got the one up front and the one on top right there. So now it is down to pulling these little brackets here, which is a 10 mil on the top and a 15 at the bottom. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yep. So we're going to remove both of those. There's ones in the front and one in the back, and then make sure that you have your transmission fill tube pushed out of the clip on the intake. And then we're gonna start taking out 10 mils. I think there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven, maybe eight on the top side over here on the right. And then I think these brackets are all that hold it down on the left. So we're gonna take those out and we'll let you know how that goes. But at that point, it should just gently lift off. Although you see all this junk and stuff sitting on top of the intake. Looks like rat poop. Yeah, I'm gonna have you vacuum this first. It's just so when we open your engine up, we don't knock all that down in there on accident. Brittany! I didn't do it! Where are you going? Right here. It's time. time you gotta lift the intake off. Whoa, I almost ran into the tire. <laughs> in the eye. Whoa. All right, so now we got the two off the sides. We got all of these unbolted. Try and gently lift it up and see if it will come free. If it feels like it's catching on anything, don't yank it too hard. But I think we're good. There you go. You gotta lift it all the way up over that transmission tube. There you go. Now take it back. Perfecto! Now, your knock sensor should be, down, there. Should be down here somewhere. No, I don't see it. <laughs> Mother. We'll report back momentarily. Yeah. All right, so uh, here we go. So the repair guy that I found did not mention this, but you know, it is what it is. So it's actually underneath this lower intake. Uh, you can see the plug running on the backside, which I'll show you when we pull it, but we had to pull, drain the coolant. So we drain the coolant through the little radiator thing and then uh, pull the coolant hose. I'll pull the back one after I get the fuel rail out. But I disconnected the fuel line, drained the, drained the fuel, disconnected the fuel line. Now we've unclipped all the injectors. We're gonna unbolt this fuel rail here. We're gonna gently wiggle it off and then unbolt all these 15s and pull and remove the coolant lines on the back. And then we're gonna pull this lower intake and that should expose the, the knock sensor. All right, it was a long journey. A lot of things have to come off, but there she is. So it's a 13 millimeter holding it in. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. However, we're gonna do that probably with a ratchet wrench. All of these intake gaskets need to be replaced whenever we do this. Um, probably a good time to check your injector O-rings as well. I would replace those. And your EGR gaskets need to replace. I'll have links in Amazon for all of the parts. Um, and yeah, but we're gonna go ahead and pull this out and swap in the new one. All right, 
So whenever you go to replace your uh, gaskets on your intake manifolds, these surfaces have to be as clean as possible. So you can go through with, uh, you can shove paper towels down in your little intake valleys here. Just fill these holes as tight as possible with paper towels and then you go through with a razor blade and brake cleaner. You get that as shiny and as clean as absolutely possible and then you put your new gaskets in. So we're gonna do that on both sides of the lower intake and then the upper intake's plastic so that one will just pop out and pop in. So, yeah. Come on! Hey, let's go to the Lord's work tonight. We're good, we're all back together. Idling down the coolant, everything's topped off. Running like a champ, no check engine lights? No check engine lights. No check engine lights, boys. Nothing pending, we're good to go. <laughs> if the video helped you, hit the like button uh, so more people can see it. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more and uh, Amazon links in the description below. Come on.